Hey what's up guys, Haja453 here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's going to be a bit of a different video than usual. I'll be doing a uh, tutorial on how you can go ahead and play Valorant in the true stretch resolution. So normally when you play stretch in Valorant, it's just going to be stretching out the HUD. Uh, but this way is similar to how it stretches out the game in CSGO. So you have a slightly lower FOV, but it actually stretches the character models and everything in the actual game itself. So if you're coming from CSGO and you play on stretch in that game, it might be a bit weird going back to Valorant. Or just going to Valorant and uh, playing in native resolution. So if you want to go and play and stretch in Valorant properly, um, this is how you do it. So the very first thing you guys want to do is go to the NVIDIA control panel. To do that, just right click on your desktop. If you're on Windows 11, you're going to have to press show more options on every other Windows version or it should just pop up here. But uh, just click on NVIDIA control panel. The first thing you do when you open up NVIDIA control panel is go onto the uh, display tab and then click on change resolution. Once this window is up, make sure you run the correct monitor. Uh, and then you can go ahead and click customize uh, unless you've already got the custom resolution you already use here so if you have a resolution you want to use in game if it's not listed here you have to do this um, click create custom resolution and you just type it in here and then it will come up in your uh, resolution list here and actually it can show up in game and uh, you can have it here if you've already played stretched in Valorant like just for the HUD or you have it in CSGO or something like that uh, you should already have this step done next thing you gotta do is go to adjust desktop size and position uh, and copy these settings pretty much so make sure you select a uh, scaling mode of full screen uh, perform scaling on gpu and override the scaling mode sets by games and programs is uh, ticked i believe you can also have this on display it doesn't really matter for me when i have it on display for some reason it just puts uh, black bars on the side so i just use gpu but yeah i'm not really sure how it works exactly but i mean it works on both next thing you guys want to do is download this program called win explorer now i'll leave a link to this in the description um this basically allows you to I mean, you'll see later what it does, but make sure you just guys have this downloaded. We can move on to what you do with this later on. The next thing you guys got to do is hold down Windows and the R key. Or an alternative, you could just press the Windows key and then you could search for run like that. And that can bring the same window. Once this window is open, type in percent app data percent like that. Press enter. And then it'll bring all this stuff. So then you want to go ahead and press app data up here. Go to local scroll down to you can find valorant once you're in the valorant tab just go to saved then go to config then you will see this uh, folder with a bunch of letters and numbers in it this is your user id so just click this go to windows and then you see two uh, configuration setting files here so the one you want to open up is game user settings double click that if it doesn't bring you to a notepad folder you can just right click it and then go to open with and then open with notepad Alright, so once you have this open, go ahead and go to this line right here. So this is a few lines from the, uh, from the top, and it says B should letterbox. And it should be on true for you guys. If it's on true, go ahead and type in false with a capital F. Hit Control S to save it. I've already done this, so I don't need to do it because I've already changed it before. Once you've saved it, go ahead and exit out of that. Then you need to do an important step, which is where you right click on the actual file itself. Go to properties. Then you'll see down here where it says attributes. Tick off the box that says read only. So make sure it's ticked for you guys, all right? This will basically make it so that Valorant can't uh, change it back to being true. It'll, it'll, it'll only just read the settings without automatically changing it because I'm pretty sure a few months ago, uh, the way you do this is that you didn't actually need to do this at all, but um, now you have, now it automatically puts it on letterbox mode when you're trying to um, do this uh, trick to play stretched. All right, next thing is open up Valorant. All right, so once your game opens up, go ahead and go to the settings and go to video and Make sure your game is in windowed mode. Now, I know some people might think that this gives you more input lag or whatever, but I mean, I've been playing with it and it feels the same to me as full screen does. So put it in windowed. Um, go ahead and make this on 1080p and then click fill and then click apply. And then confirm. And then what you want to do is go to your NVIDIA control panel, change resolution. And here you can choose the resolution you want to play the game with. So I'm going to choose 1280 by 960. Um, so it's going to make your whole computer or your whole display and stretched. Um, and you might notice your game is in windowed mode, so obviously you've got the borders on the top and everything like that, which is what we downloaded the other program for uh, beforehand. So this program, what you want to do is, uh, well, I'm going to refresh this because I had it already open. You scroll down until you can find this one here where it says Valorant and then in brackets it says Unreal Window. Highlight that one, go ahead and click Style, and then you'll see this one here which is WS underscore border. Uncheck that box, then go to Size and Position, and then click on Maximized. There you go, your game is now in full screen and you're in proper stretch. So if I go into a practice range here, I'll give you an example. As you can see, everything is stretched out properly. I'm in full screen, everything's fine. And uh, yeah, this is the proper stretch in Valorant. Now some 
few things you need to note. Uh, your sensitivity might feel a bit different. This is because the uh, actual field of view is a bit different um, or it's lower than usual. So uh, one of the downsides of that is that things on the sides uh, might, you know, you might have less visibility overall, but it's a very minuscule amount. Um, it's the same as in CSGO pretty much. Um, so that's what causes your sensitivity to feel, to feel higher. I'm pretty sure there's some calculators you can find online, which allow you to like, you know, um, input your original sensitivity on native and then it'll basically find a lower sense that'll feel exactly the same uh, on this FOV. I don't really know exactly what website to find for that. I've just been playing on the same sense on this FOV anyway. I don't really care. I changed my sense enough anyways. But yeah, one thing about this uh, this trick being bannable, I'm not really sure if it's bannable. I've not seen anyone be banned for it. Um, I did play a competitive match with this before and I mean, my account's still on, as you can see. Um, and it doesn't really involve doing too much of the game that would actually warrant a ban. Uh, I think the most that, that Riot will end up doing is maybe just putting in a patch to change this so you can't actually do this, do this anymore. Um, but I mean, just use this so you can while it's still up and running. It's pretty good playing on uh, proper stretch resolution. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe uh, for some more future content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.